Good morning everyone, my name is Michelangelo Fuentes and I'm the founder of TrueSuccess.com Today we're going, to, we're going to be talking about financial choices or financial decisions uh, that, that really, you know, we need to work on uh, For me, you know, I probably make um, probably at least an income of five hundred dollars uh, per year, and because for me, I've been struggling for, for looking for work and also running my own business, so it's going to take a while for me to get, you know, at least thirty thousand k or thirty thousand dollars or more. But I mean, that's my goal for this year. But anyway. Uh, we got to control our money, uh, and because of that, you know, you must control money, even you work at a minimum wage job, or higher wage, uh, like you know, becoming a doctor and you make like a uh, hundred thousand dollars or more. I think, I think that's great, you know, and um, and if you have a business. Control your money also like for myself. I Really control You know Really having that control is, is really important and and the greatest tool of controlling your money is a budget Okay, uh, a budget is key to really You know help you to really organize your money and where to go uh, You know um, I see what I was in and how much you know your spending money will give you. And so, and so if you work at a minimum wage job, working let's say a salary of fifteen, uh, six hundred dollars. Uh, between yeah, between five hundred and fifteen thousand six hundred dollars to let's say eight thousand eight uh. Eighteen thousand dollars. Okay, you got to budget. You got to really budget your money because you know places like uh, small apartments and uh, to rent a room. It's gonna take possibly forty five, forty five, uh, thirty thirty five to forty five percent of your income, and so. I uh, encourage you to make arrangements on on your on your living uh, conditions. Uh, let's see. And because of that, you gotta learn how to you know if it, let's say if you you know rent rent a room that costs between ninety to one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, or find a find an apartment that that pays between between uh one hundred fifty to two hundred dollars, because that will you know minimize the cost of living and you know for food, you know I urge you to spend twenty dollars per week on food. You you don't need to buy you know you don't need. To buy at least one hundred dollars worth of food, you just need to twenty because this is by yourself. Or if you are married, uh, you know get yeah. So two person that that's forty dollars a week on food. So just so you're cutting the spending cost on food up to eighty percent because we as humans we don't eat a lot. Uh, we just eat and just eat enough for that week. So that means that you need to save money uh, to save more money than spending it. Okay, and it does not mean that that you don't pay the bills. You gotta pay the bills. Uh, pay you know again you know for fin financial reasons you know cut down some of the. In uh, entertainment, you know, like spending eight dollars per month on Netflix, uh, Netflix, 
uh, I think that's good enough to really become entertaining to you. Uh, uh, cut down spending on electronics. Now, if you really want to get a new laptop for under $200 in your budget, that's fine. Or getting a printer under $100. Because uh, I remember one time I went to uh, Best Buy and there's printers that really cost very, very cheaply, uh, like around uh, 60 to 90 dollars worth of uh, a small printer so you can buy that instead of getting a big printer let's see what else but if you worked at the minimum wage then you must adjust your bills you know uh, it's so important to get a phone bill because you need to call from work and stuff like that uh, number two uh, cut down uh, the TV because of that because TV costs probably around three hundred dollars per month, uh, which you cannot afford. Then I encourage you to cut uh, what cut uh, cut off the uh, TV and start watching Netflix or watching YouTube. And and, and another thing, you gotta have internet. I think internet is. Uh, can't have any interruptions anyway. Uh, give me, <clears throat> give me one second. I hate this when it happens. Uh, and Sorry about that. Anyway, so really adjust. I mean, be wise with your finances. Uh, your finance is very important. Uh, if you're, you know, if you have a girlfriend that good at financial uh, management, or your wife, uh, or your wife good at uh, financial management, then you know it will help for you to get. A monthly budget uh, each and every month and decide what to spend and what not to spend and all the good stuff and yeah so anyway uh, that's the video for today uh, I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I'm trying my best to explain um, and, and really you know God is oh sorry well and, and really, you know, you got to take a look at what's, what your situation is and how you can manage your money well. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.